And now we're at the border with Panama, and they won't stop looking at anything until I have insurance for the bike. This is the insurance office, and there's nobody there. So uh, been in touch with them, and it's going to be about half an hour we're just waiting. Which is not too bad, because weather out there it isn't good, so I hope that the rain is done by the time the bike is cleared to get into the country. So the insurance guy did show up, he uh, handed out cookies, really nice guy actually, and he sold us insurance. And, uh, now I'm back in Costa Rica because I didn't get my exit stamp yet. So that's what we're going to do, we're right here, and then we go back to Panama and enter into Panama. And in, in the meantime, the rain continues. Alright, so we're checked out of Costa Rica again, and we're going that way to Panama. So then you get to the border with Panama, there's the Canadian bike and an Ontario bike car right ahead of me. And there's Panama. We got the documents, we're going in. So we're almost there. This is the fumigation place that we have to go through. Got the paperwork done, just have to get through there. So I'm just waiting for the guy to come. Welcome to Panama, where the weather so far has been pretty shit. To be honest yeah it's either super super warm or it is uh, raining really hard right now i'm kind of hoping that it just disappears quickly because i don't really feel like putting all my rain gear on because it's bloody warm but um, i don't know i might have to let's see what happens there's a view at the moment wet we're trying to Panama, get to Panama City. You can see the traffic in the distance. Uh, there's been some accidents up ahead, so traffic is moving very slow. But uh, we'll get there. We'll just go through the emergency lane or in the middle of traffic. The bike it's always a bit easier. Wish me luck. We made it to Panama City. We're just walking in the old town of Panama City. Back to our apartment. I guess there's just a live music going on over there. And uh, tomorrow we're heading to Overlander Embassy, which is the company that's going to ship my bike to Colombia. So that's happening tomorrow. Today it's time for Panama City and shipping the bike. I'm in the old part of town and the actual modern part of town is over my shoulder you can see the skyline and this causeway that goes all the way around the old part of town um, yesterday was raining now it's nice and warm so we're in search of some breakfast and uh, then we're going to drop off the bike for shipment to colombia When in Panama, of course, we have to check out the Panama Canal. So um, we just got in and now we're going to have to walk the opposite direction to go see some ships. There's a big one in there already, so come, let's follow me. This uh, is where we are, we made a Florida's Locks on the Panama City side. So it's very cool to watch these ships go through the locks here at the Panama Canal. What's so impressive is that it's all based on gravity and water. Um, if they go that way, they go onto the uh, lake in between the locks um, and they get raised in the locks. And if they go the other way, that way, they go to the Pacific Ocean and they just get lowered three times, 27 feet each time or nine meters. So that's, that's a massive amount, it's a lot of water. As they said in the little movie, Water is soft enough, you can play it with it with your hands, it's strong enough to raise a ship.
got to pay attention here a little bit because I'm walking on this wall. It's about three meters tall. I don't really want to jump off it. That would hurt. But uh, yeah, we're actually, I should show you guys this side. That is the old part of Panama City with the causeway all the way around it and they just build over the water. From this end, you can see Panama City with the skyline because it's behind all these buildings. City and we made it to Overlander Embassy. This is the group that's going to ship the bike across the Darien Gap. There's actually no road between Panama and Colombia, so that's why I had to have to ship it there. Uh, you can do it by, by sea, which takes a bit longer, is a little cheaper, or by air, which I'm going to do because I don't have too much time to make it down to Argentina. So um, let's see what we need to do to check this baby in. We're at the Overlander Embassy. You can see there's not just bikes, well, my bike, there's Land Rovers, there's a van from France here, all kinds of stuff that's going to be shipped across the gap. All right, sticker on the wall. Let's find a good spot right here. So now, pin on the wall. Where do I find the pins? Uh, well, there. All right. Well, there's not much spot there. <laughs> Take me from Holland, but you know, I live in Vancouver, so then let me just put it right here. Yeah. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> so we quickly moved the bike inside because it is raining a little bit. I uh, will wait a bit to get to the airport. Opa, where did you get shipped? To Colombia. So we made it to the airport. This is Alejandro. Nice to meet you guys. With the company is? It's Overland Embassy. So we're happy to be part of your journey and get you shipped to Colombia. Man. I appreciate that, man. There's a whole bunch of other bikes as well that Alejandro dropped off earlier today. So they're all going to Bogota. And uh, they do shipping by ocean as well to uh, Yeah, Cartagena. we ship uh, to Cartagena in Colombia or we ship directly to Bogota uh, via air freight. And I would love to go to Cartagena, but I don't have time. So Bogota it is. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Cheers, man. So we're just in the warehouse and uh, see this guy as well. His bike is called, or his trip is called The Last Big Ride because he got sick. I was actually looking at his uh, Instagram page today and now he's uh, shipping the bike to Lima. Here's my bike. It's going to Bogota. It's a bike from Maryland. What else? Kansas. Oh, there's another BC bike right over here in Germany. We have a Quebec bike, California, Alaska, and what's that? That's Panama, that's probably not gonna get shipped, so. Hey, that looks like my bike. Oh, same bags as well. Nice.
Bar, bye bye Panama. Muchas gracias, señor. Oh, no, saludos. Sí, sí, sí. Careful time. Time to fly. That is the Copa Lounge, by the way. It was very nice. Thanks for the wine, guys. That's the plane. That's not like a motorbike. We're getting in there and we're getting out. made it to Bogota. I'm being picked up by William from Overlander Embassy and his papa, Aya. <laughs> and, uh, and there's William over there. Thank you for the pickup, Thank sir. <laughs> Mucho apreciado. Okay, okay. gracias. <laughs> Welcome to Bogota. Welcome to Colombia, everybody. Just made it to Bogota. There's a mountain behind me. The bike already made it today as well, so we're gonna have a quick breakfast. We're gonna pick up the bike and uh, see if we can get service in town. Almost at breakfast. Of course, every place in Central America and probably in South America too has at least one central plaza. Bogota is a pretty big city, of course, so they got lots of plazas. But this is the Park 93. Lots of restaurants around here, and uh, so my Airbnb is pretty close too. Once again at the airport. Uh, with a couple other bikers this time. I'm gonna pick up a bike here somewhere. There's a DHL around. We're with. What's your name again? Ricky. Ricky. From Kansas. Yep, that's right. right. That's and right. Victor's walking away over there with William. So let's go pick up some bikes. On our way to DHL. DHL shipped a bike. So now we have to just clear it into Colombia. Sounds like it's gonna take a few hours of paperwork. But um, yeah, let's see how it goes. And off we go. So we're in the aduana in uh, Bogota. These guys are also waiting for their bikes as well. We're just waiting for all the documents to be done, which takes forever. We've been here since 11 in the morning and it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But uh, it looks like we're getting close. So keep it posted. Donde vamos, William? Vamos a DHL a radicar los documentos de la importación y nos dirigimos a que nos entreguen la motocicleta. Yay! Yeah. Almost got the bike back. Desde guys. Colombia. Sí, in Colombia, in Bogota. Well, here are a couple of the guys that already have the bike. Hey, hey. hey boys! Bike, uh, looks like you guys are missing a bike. Yeah, we are. We're missing one bike. Looking serious. Well, like, you're looking serious already. I'm looking very serious. All right, okay, good stuff. Okay, man, tell us a little bit about your bike. Well, this is my Norwegian Tenere 700, uh, which I shipped from Paris to Montreal, Canada, uh, and is now heading to Argentina, Ushuaia. There we go. Uh, she's been through a lot. She's got battle scars everywhere, but she's still got two wheels, an engine that works, uh, and a driver that works at times so, <laughs> so far uh, so good so hopefully i'll get there so far so good so far so good awesome looks amazing man i love the colors thank you very good my, very uh, good it's my baby it's my uh, love of my life i will never leave her i will never sell her and i will never cheat on her there we go good. that's There's how we treat bike. our bikes you know it's not just another motorbike bike, but, uh, we use these bikes across continents it's fantastic all right sir be careful with that please done this before a few times trying not to sweat too much so he brings it down looking good so far DHL 
so, ladies and gentlemen. Got her down. Now he's just going to bring it around the corner. So we can unwrap it.